defensive, defensive marriage act signed by Bill Clinton, who now very, very much regrets. Now he's doing sorry. it now that he's not in the office. Well, but he makes a point of when he signed it, yes. you know, gay marriage was not uh, big or even really being discussed oh, much. Oh, I see. That's sincere, in isn't it? So when he, when he signed it, it wasn't a big deal. Now it's a big deal. He changes. You know, I'm sorry. Well, Bill people Clinton, do look at it at evolving standards. Hold, let me say this so you don't get attached to it because I know that you don't want to get attached to it. You're a phony, Bill Clinton. You're a phony. It's the same exact issue, same thing. All right. You signed it because you thought it was going to be popular, and now that it's not that so popular, you're against it. This is what sleazy politicians do. Do you feel that do. way about Barack Obama too? Because no. he came out, he was against. Do I feel that way against? Until recently, of course I feel that way again. Of course I do. But they Bill, pander. They don't care about. They don't care about gays. If they cared about gays, they would have been on board in the beginning, and they weren't. But even it's the gays same weren't talking issue. as much about gay marriage back in '96 as they are today. I'm sorry. It's the same exact issue. All right. Now you can change your mind on the issue, mm -hmm. but you got to explain that in context other than politics. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right. How somehow you evolved on this issue? I'm willing to listen to that, mm -hmm. but I don't believe any of this is sincere. It's political and it's just awful. Well, that was our own Bill O'Reilly suggesting in an exchange with yours truly earlier this week that lawmakers, some of them who have recently changed their tune on gay marriage. Have done so for political reasons. We specifically discuss Barack Obama and Bill Clinton, who say they have evolved on the issue since they first opposed gay marriage. Same claim, uh, for that matter, by Hillary Clinton, who happened to be our first lady when her husband Bill signed the bill into law that defined marriage as, a, as between a man and a woman. That's what went up to the Supreme Court this week. Here's just a sampling of what a couple of those have said in the past. What I believe is, is that marriage is between a man and a woman. I am not in favor of gay marriage. I'm in favor of civil unions. So I take umbrage at anyone who might suggest that those of us who worry about amending the Constitution are less committed to the sanctity of marriage or to the fundamental bedrock principle that it exists between a man and a woman going back into the mists of history. Joining me now to discuss it, Alan Combs. He's host of The Alan Combs Show. And Mike Gallagher, who's a radio talk show host and a Fox News contributor. Uh, so Bill made a lot of news with, with that exchange we had, and, and not just that part of it, but the claim specifically, Mike, that he believes that they're phonies, uh, that these are sleazy politicians, as he put it, who are basically just pandering depending on which way the wind blows. There sure does seem like an awful lot of evolving going on these days, doesn't there, Megan? I mean, uh, of course these guys are sticking their fingers in the proverbial winds, and they are doing what politicians do. I think Bill is absolutely a thousand percent correct. I would like to see one same-sex marriage proponent call out any of these Democrats. Pick one. Start with Bill Clinton, maybe Hillary, maybe President Obama, and either take them to task for being so bigoted up to a year ago of their lives, or suddenly doing this about face uh, because it, it appears that the polls are suggesting that, that same-sex marriage has gained a lot of popularity. I mean, it's, you know, Republicans could take a page out of the Democrats' playbook on, playbook on this kind of a matter, Megan. You never see Republicans unified over a social issue like, like Democrats are over this particular issue. There's never any criticism within their own, under their own tent. These guys just, just clam up and pretend that everything they're doing is honorable, and Bill is right. It's a big, fat, phony, disingenuous lie. I have to give a shout out, uh, credit to Dave Weigel of Slate, who, who actually put together a compilation of left wing politicians reversing themselves. So, and he is, he right. is no conservative guy. But so, in any event, right. uh, there hasn't been a you know, huge chorus of folks like Bill or you know, others pointing out the hypocrisy Nobody. on it. But, Alan, is it hypocrisy? Because you heard me in that clip. You know, challenging Bill, as, I'm, as I like to do, <laughs> about whether this is hypocrisy or no. whether it truly might well, be an evolution because society, this whole debate has changed a lot in the past 10 years. Well, as you know, I never challenged Bill O'Reilly. Ne you? Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> didn't you guys go to couples therapy after he called you uh, less I, than I, honest? I, we're in couples therapy now, and it's going <laughs> anger, quite well, anger as a matter of fact. Uh, thank you. Uh, Bill O'Reilly himself has evolved on the issue. In fact, when you were on with him, Megan, he said the only people, the people on the other side, how all they bring to the table is Bible thumping. I thought I was listening to Barack Obama when he said that. 
Uh, so Bill O'Reilly, uh, Mr. O'Reilly, as I'm contractually obligated to call him, <laughs> sir, uh, sir, uh, you. your highness, uh, he, he is the one who actually has evolved on gay marriage. By the way, uh, I thought we were talking about all the Republicans who evolved on pathway to citizenship for immigration like Marco Rubio and Jeb Bush. And by the way, Republican Lisa Murkowski of Alaska has oh. also changed her view on gay marriage. So let's not act like this is some one-sided kind of an issue. And by the way, Be uh, the American public went from 38 percent to 53 percent over the last few years on supporting gay mm -hmm. marriage. I, I'm so not, that, that's what's I'm not going on sure in the country it, right now. Go I'm ahead, not sure what illegal immigration has to do with the same-sex marriage debate. Listen, this is definitely a complicated issue. And, and I don't think, I mean, I don't think people of goodwill want discrimination against anybody. I don't. I don't think anybody ought to be discriminated against, including gays and lesbians. But all we're asking for, Alan, is some honesty. Just come clean and say, well, you know what? Uh, I was pres I'm President Obama now. I got nothing to lose. When I was candidate well, Obama, when I was a senator, I, I, I was, I was, I, I mean, let me ask you something. Were they wrong in those audio clips you heard, Alan, when they were me, going on and on about no. the sanctity of traditional let me ask marriage? You, let me ask you a question back. Was Mitt Romney wrong when he flip-flopped on almost everything, ran away from his own health care bill? We're not talking about Mitt Romney. Let me jump in, let me jump in, because when you, let me just jump in, because when you listen to that Hillary Clinton clip, and obviously Bill Clinton is the number one guy, because he, he signed the Defense of Marriage Act into law. <laughs> He's the right. one who, who defined it effectively yeah. for the federal government as between a man and a woman, period. And now he's completely reversed himself. Here, and his wife stood up there indignantly, Alan, indignantly, yeah, yeah. and said, I am just as here, committed to the fundamental bedrock right. principle here is the that hypocrisy. marriage is between a man and a woman. It, it, and now, if now I may. oh, I'm, it, not, I'm not as committed. If I may. The hypocrisy <laughs> is that the people on the right supported a candidate, Mitt Romney, who signed health care, Romney care, into law and then ran away from it. They supported listen, a candidate that, who became, who that's called himself, who Let, called himself even a... Even if that is true, even if that is true, what we're talking today is about what's actually in no, the news, what we're talking which is about the two is the huge issue of cases that went up to the Supreme Court. No, we're not, Alan. We're not. No, because we're talking no one's talking about, about Mitt Romney right now. Issue. We're talking about two yeah, huge I mean, cases that went up to the Supreme Court of the United mm -hmm. States this week. And the parade either, of either, politicians that came out now supporting gay marriage. Well, and whether Megan, we are to uh, believe their genuine support of this or they whether we believe, wrong. as O'Reilly claims, they that were, they're phonies. I believe it's appropriate either, to point out that there's been much flip flopping and changes of opinion on the other side when it was politically convenient and to just single out Democrats on this particular issue when you had a Republican so candidate agree, running then? for president who, who clearly no one's, calculated a different point of view. It's not about just the Democrats. Let me try this with you, Mike. It's about the man who signed it into law, Bill Clinton, who has reversed himself. Now, he has explanations right. for why he did so. And Listen, Barack Obama, guys... who, who was a vocal opponent of gay marriage, and even as he was running for re-election most recently was a, an opponent of gay marriage until the very, right. very end, and and Hillary Clinton. I mean, these are all either presidents, possible future presidents, a secretary of state. Right. These are these have been important voices on this issue. And the I, charge I by Bill is that they ha they were not being sincere. If, I, I think right. if I'm hearing Alan's answer correctly, all politicians do this because it's politically expedient. And if that's the case, then Bill and Hillary and President Obama change their position, according to Alan, because it's politically expedient. Uh, and somebody ought to call them out on well, it, Alan. That's what, all we're trying to say. We're not talking about, hang on, we're not talking about Mitt Romney and, and illegal, illegal immigration. We're talking yeah. about this very complicated, sensitive, fundamental issue of the definition of marriage. So either they were wrong a year ago well, so or can, they're wrong now. So you Which can is tell it? Me, you can tell me what I I think so I don't have to be here in the future if you like but we heard I, you. I, I truly believe that there is sometimes nothing wrong with evolving and changing your position or do you want a politician oh. who never changes one's mind ever on anything is it ever permissible for somebody to say I'm thinking it through the world is changing society is changing I've got a different Alan. point of view now and well, here's I gotta why. go but I want to ask Alan. you quickly I want to ask you quickly Mike do you believe did you believe President Obama when earlier just a couple of years ago he said he was against gay marriage no, I did not. In fact, I think that all of these guys have all been same-sex marriage advocates. They just didn't feel it was politically expedient to express that. Now I guess they do, and that's regrettable because it's not an, they're not being honest, and it's wow. real, real simple. Bill was right. In any event, it is true that the country is changing on this issue, and the polls uh, are there to prove it. Gentlemen, thank you both so much.